Hi Bay, it's me, your host, Bayla Stray, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Even if you've been here, don't forget to subscribe. Today we are going to be banging our string the looks of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16, Episode 6, The Doll House. And remember, that Bay Earth Straight is nothing like Tudor Boot, it's a completely original concept, so let me know if you think these looks were Bay Earth Straight in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Alright, first up on the runway we have Tsunami News. She's giving me Daphne from Scooby-Doo meets the Little Mermaid. I just wish the hair had a little bit more volume. Other than that, I like the look. It's a bay. But her dog is so ugly. And next up we have Sapphira Chris's doll. Are her doll weren't necessarily exquisite in any means possible? It's a stray. It's kind of giving me like old lady church dress. I don't know. It's just not giving me story. Agarini. She was the first queen to use her immunity potion. I mean, she probably needed it. Maybe. Who the fuck knows? I mean, are you gagging? And next up, we have Plasma. It's fun. It's simple. It's very I Dream of Genie. It's very 60s and Fired. I'm not mad at it. I actually love it. It's me. And next up, we have Plain Jane. She's funny, she's quirky, and she's not like other girls. Comparatively, she looks really good on the runway. I know Blue Fabric Gate happened, but it's still a bay. And Loki, I think I'm a Plain Jane fan. And next up, we have Nymphia Wynn. I actually really like this. It's actually giving like Christmas, yellow, pink, and lemon starburst. I think it would have been really cute to see her with like some blonde hair, but other than that, it's a bay. And next up, we have Morphine Love Dion. And her looks are never going to be like super extravagant by any means. Like I think her nicest outfit was her girl group outfit, honestly. I mean, but it's not ugly. It's a me. And next up we have my mom LePage. And honestly, I don't think this girl has any fashion sense. I don't think I have like any of her looks. And if you want to know why I don't like this look, I don't think the fabric choice necessarily says Gagarini, first off. I mean, it's a $20 stretch fabric. And I don't think she's doing anything that's gag worthy. It's a stray. I know that's like really mean to say, but like that's just how I feel. And next up we have Megami. I actually really liked her bodysuit when she was wearing it in the workroom, but after she added all these accessories, I am not a fan. And I don't even know why she chose blue and orange. It's a stray. And next up we have Geneva Carr. She looks cute. She looks simple. Nothing special. I honestly think I would wear it. It's a bay. And next up we have Dawn. And Dawn is serving us Buzz Lightyear realness. I really don't like that blue dress on top. I kind of wish like the silver one was either a bodysuit or the blue one wasn't even there. But overall, it's a bay. And next up we have Q. And honestly, I don't think I could ever make anything like this gag worthy since the word is gag. I mean, she constructed this look. I mean, it's futuristic. It's organic. It's a bay. Alright, that is it for this episode. So far, drink her potion. You got her first win. Maya Lamont LePage and Geneva Carr were in the bottom, and Geneva Carr got sent home. 
Let me know your thoughts on this episode. Let me know if you think these looks were a bait or a straight in the comments down below. And remember, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that other YouTube stuff. So, bye, babe.